Now you've been behind the wheel of a NASCAR modified since you were 14 years old. You're the only modified guy that's driving at the top level of this sport. How would you describe what is a modified guy? What is a modified racer? Man, we're, we're so different from every culture of racing. Just being from the Northeast, you know, I talk about old school guys like Richie Evans, Mike Stefanik, Ted Christopher, all different. I would say Mike Stefanik and Richie Evans were very, very similar with how they went about things, right? But then you had Ted Christopher, who was just like, I'm gonna jump in anything, hey, you know, and, and go. Ted Christopher, he'll win, leading 91 of 100 laps. The Rapid Roman himself, Richie Evans. Martinsville, that one finish there, I probably picked up a few Southern fans when Jeff and I got all hooked up. Clay Earls can brag for years anyway, right? Stefanik's around! No! Steve Park and Stefanik get together! He said it was just one of those racing deals. Yeah, right. I'm gonna say the wrong thing here. I am that freaking pissed. It's just bull****. What I enjoy most about coming from up there and, and how it's looked at to be a racer, there's nothing wrong with just getting in a race car and holding the steering wheel, but we want to be a part of the process. We want to be hands-on. We want to know what we're doing, and, and that's what I think sets all of us apart from all these other disciplines for the most part. That's, that's what I like the most about going up there. I see young kids that are working on their race cars and they want to be a part of that process. Yeah, we're, we're a lot different than uh, just getting out of the car and taking a comb and you know combing our hair. I've had the opportunity to go race against different generations of racers, guys that were phenomenal in the 80s and 90s and then in the 2000s and 2010 era. Racing weekly at Riverhead, Stafford, you know, all these, all these places where you're grinding Nerf bars against people trying to win races. It makes you an aggressive racer. You talk about the amount of time that you spend in the shop at Stuart Haas Racing, and I, I can't help but think of guys like Greg Zipidelli and Clive McLeod from the Sherry Cup car, and then Reggie Ruggiero's in there working on stuff. How much more comfortable does that make you to go talk to those guys and be around like-minded modified guys? It's crazy. Um, Greg's from Berlin, Connecticut, which is where I'm from. The story with Reggie was I used to be a, not not afraid, but you didn't have his respect, right? So I used to go into Raceworks, which was 10 minutes from my house, and he wouldn't say a word to you. Well, then as you get older, you start winning more races, and, and you, you're gaining that level of respect from him. He starts talking to you. Now when I sit down at a picnic table at SHR with him, I can't get away. It's like, <laughs> hey, Richie, I got to go back over here. But, you know, those guys, there's, there's so many untold stories there. So if you, if you go sit down with them and you just start talking racing, you, you hear so much and it's it's the place that I want to be at. So many Northeast racers measure success, it's funny you say that, just off the respect you get from yeah. your fellow competitor. I'd say hopefully, you know, we can go out there and, and bring the modified community back up and, and have people looking up in the Northeast because certainly it feels like you can you can kind of get lost in the shuffle, right? Yeah, there's definitely I think it's it's kind of made a progression where people are looking at sprint cars and midgets for guys like Kyle Larson and Chris Bell. If there was a couple guys that you keep your eye on right now from the Northeast that you think could, could run in the National Series, who, who would you say? There's a lot of, a lot of tough racers right now. I mean, you go to any of those short tracks, whether it's Riverhead or Stafford or up in Oswego or Monadnock, there's a there's a handful of two, you know, two or three young racers out there that are that are doing a great job. They're up there. They just gotta, somebody's gotta go grab them. Yeah. Make sure you follow the modified action all season long on Flow Racing. You know Ryan and I will be watching. <laughs>